Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to talk about what it means to be vested in your company's retirement plan. So companies typically will offer certain incentives for their employees to stay around, and these typically take the form of some type of retirement fund. So there's two main types of vesting schemes or setups. The first being immediate vesting, and the second being a scheduled vesting. Immediate vesting is really nice for the employees because that means you get access to the full amount of money, both the money you put into a retirement fund and the money that your company matches in that retirement fund immediately. You don't have to wait around. So for an example, let's say you make $100,000 a year. Your company's willing to match 100% of 5% of your paycheck, meaning that in one year your company will have matched $5,000. So you would want to take it full advantage of that and invest at least $5,000 in that fund during that year. So that means that not only will you have the $5,000 that you invested in whatever gains you received from that for that first year, you will also have the company's match $5,000 and that gain for the first year and you can use that money immediately. You don't have to wait around for that money to be invested. It already is. Now that we've talked about what immediate vesting is, I think it's important to talk about what a vesting schedule is. Vesting schedules are used pretty often with companies in order to keep the employees to stay at the company. So for an example, let's use a, the same example we did last time. You make $100,000 a year and your company's willing to match 5% of that $100,000. In this example, like we did the last one, I'm going to have X be the growth of your contributions and Y be the growth of your company's contributions. So as you can see, the vesting schedule for this certain company that you're working for is 25% each year. That means that after year one, you'll be 25% vested, year two, 50, year three, 75, and year four, 100% vested. So as you guys can see, looking at the far right column there, the unvested money, you can see that you will owe no money under the unvested column through any of your years. That means that whatever money you put into the fund is your money. Whatever money that you put in and that you get returns on, you'll have that money immediately. You don't have to wait for it to be vested. However, your company's money is a different story. So let's look at year one. Your company also invested $5,000 that first year. However, you only have access to $1,250 and the 25% growth associated with the $5,000 invested. That's to say you have access to it, but if you were to take that money out, if you were to leave the company, you could still get hit with tax penalties. So you need to be careful about that. The company after the first year, if you were to leave, would get back $3,750 as well as the 75% uh, gain or loss that the money went through that first year. At the end of year two, you will be 50% vested and this means that you will have contributed $10,000 and your company will as well have contributed $10,000. I'm not going to go into the percentage breakdown like I did in year one just because it is the exact same thing as year one is just with a higher percent and this pertains to year three too. You and your company have both contributed $15,000 and now you're at a 75% vested rate which means that you could expect to see the numbers that I'm showing for year three. Year four however you are 100% vested so at this point assuming that you haven't had an increase in pay rate or that the match hasn't gone up at all you will have contributed uh, $20,000 your company will have contributed $20,000 and you would have access to both the growth of your contributions and the growth of your company's contributions. So if you decide to leave after year four from your company, you'd be able to take that entire amount and put it, maybe roll it into a new IRA or even a new 401k at your new company. Well, those are the basics on vesting, guys. If you guys found the video helpful, please give it a like and consider subscribing to the channel. I'll see you guys next time.